So you guys know the game Slug Bug. Every time you see an old VW bug, you punch your buddy, right? Well, Tezzy and I play this game that is based on Star Wars, and it's like Slug Bug, but what it is is every time we see any sort of Star Wars paraphernalia, any sort of advertisement, or someone mentions it in a conversation, anything at all, anything Star Wars related, we get a punch, right? And we keep score, and as soon as you get to 101 points, you're the winner, you're the champion. Sadly, I hate to admit that Tezzy has won three times in a row. Um, I think she cheats. <laughs> she denies it vociferously. Um, but it's a great game. Uh, we have a lot of fun playing it. And you guys, Star Wars stuff comes up constantly. Everywhere, all the time. I mean, it's hard to say that even an hour or two goes by without either her or I or both of us coming across something Star Wars related, whether it's on the internet or at some store or even just driving down the freeway and there's a bumper sticker. I got one today on the way home from Ultimate Frisbee. On the freeway right there, boom, a big um, Rebellion you know, logo on somebody's car. I was like, punch! And she's like, what? No, you're a cheater. I'm like, there it is. That's how that game was played. It's a lot of fun. Um, we're in the middle of a game right now. I think she's up by about 9 or 10 points as we speak at the making of this video. I've yet to gain a lead. I'm still trying. We'll see what happens. <laughs> My name is Jeremy. This is Mathem Books. Today we are talking Star Wars. You guys, I am super excited about the upcoming film, The Force Awakens, which comes out now literally about two weeks from now. It's thrilling. It's blowing up my world. It is absolutely amazing, and I want to share the joy with you as well as talk about a great book and just get you guys all up to speed on what this Star Wars thing is, what it means to us who have been Star Wars fans for years, and what it means for the future of the Star Wars franchise. So how did Star Wars conquer the universe? That's the title of this book that I'm reviewing today. How Star Wars conquered the universe, the past, the present, and the future of a multi-billion dollar franchise. Let me say this, you guys. There are many fandoms out there. Right? Many of you guys are super excited right now about Mockingjay Part 2, and you've got you know, the Hunger Games thing going on, you had the um, you know, Allegiance and the you know, Divergent whole thing going on, kind of a flash in the pan. You have, of course, the Harry Potter stuff still going on. It's amazing. Lord of the Rings, Twilight. These have been around for a while. They've proven themselves. However, and I say this as a big Tolkien fan, they can't hold a candle to the Star Wars phenomena, the way it's completely ingrained in the culture. Even Harry Potter, as big as Harry Potter is, it's nothing compared to the Star Wars juggernaut that we're a part of. Lord of the Rings, been around forever, it's huge. Even that cannot hold a candle to the way that the Star Wars um, ideas, the concepts, characters, are just a part of our daily life. So, how did it get this way? That's what Chris Taylor talks about in this book. It's super interesting, whether you're a Star Wars person or not, this book is for you. Let me just read you a couple things really quick. Let me read to you what the Associated Press said about this book. It's a tour de force. Taylor's research is staggering. And even fans who believe they know all there is to know about the film franchise will find much to learn and savor. And I found this to be absolutely true. I thought I knew a lot about the Star Wars, you know, uh, franchise. I've been following it for years. I'm one of those fans that actually saw Empire Strikes Back in the theaters as a little kid. Um, so I've been following it for a long time. I was seeing things in this book left and right where I was like, wow, that's cool. I had no idea definitely delivers on that. Here's what the uh, review reads um, like in um, on Amazon. In 1973, a young filmmaker named George Lucas scribbled some notes for a far-fetched space fantasy epic. More than 40 years and 37 billion dollars later, Star Wars 
related products outnumber human beings, a stormtrooper army spans the globe, and Jediism has become a religion in its own right. Lucas's creation has grown into far more than a cinematic classic. Quite simply, it's one of the most lucrative, influential, and interactive franchises of all time. Yet until now, the complete history of Star Wars, its influences and impact, the controversies it has spawned, its financial growth, and long-term prospects has never been told. In How Star Wars Conquered the Universe, veteran journalist Chris Taylor traces the series from the difficult birth of the original film through its sequels, the franchise's death and rebirth, the prequels, and the preparations for a new trilogy. Taylor provides portraits of friends, writers, artists, producers, and marketers who labor behind the scenes to turn Lucas's idea into a legend. He also jousts with modern-day Jedi, tinkers with droid builders, and gets Boba Fett's helmet. All to find out how Star Wars has attracted and inspired so many fans for so long. Since the film's first release in 1977, Star Wars has conquered our culture with a sense of lightness and exuberance while remaining serious enough to influence politics around the world and spread a spirituality that appeals to religious groups and atheists alike. Controversial digital upgrades and critically savage prequels have actually made the franchise stronger than ever. Now, with a new set of savvy bosses holding the reins, that's Disney, and Episode 7 on the horizon, it looks like Star Wars is just getting started. An energetic, fast-moving account of this creative and commercial phenomenon, How Star Wars Conquered the Universe explains how a filmmaker's fragile dream beat out a surprising number of rivals and gained a die-hard, multi-generational fan base, and why, and why it will be galvanizing our imaginations and minting money for generations to come. So, that was the uh, editorial review on um, Amazon. I stand behind it all. It's absolutely true. It's a great book. Uh, Chris Taylor did an amazing job. He goes into everything about George Lucas and his upbringing and where, you know, where he did his first small little films and which is in the Northern California area outside of San Francisco, um, which is an area I kind of lived in for a while. So that was kind of interesting as well. Um, and how Lucas avoided the Hollywood, you know, major studio thing and did it on his own, so to speak. Um, but yet, how Star Wars is not just a George Lucas thing. George Lucas had a lot of help from, from some very uh, brilliant and um, influential people. People who, without which, the film would not have been what it was. We saw with the prequels that George Lucas left to his own devices kind of blows it here and there, left and right in some cases. But with all the help that he had originally, they produced perhaps what is what some people consider a perfect film in Episode Four, A New Hope, the first original Star Wars film. That's where we're at. It's a great book. It is interesting. You'll get to see not just about the Star Wars franchise, but really a kind of a short history of filmmaking um, in California and certainly in that period, you'll see kind of a short history of sci-fi fantasy fiction as it was during those times of George Lucas's upbringing and the things that influenced, influenced uh, Lucas as well as the kind of the cultural uh, genres of the time and what, they, what was kind of influencing the making of uh, Star Wars in terms of um, positively as well as negatively, things that Star Wars was trying not to do. That was happening a lot at the time. What's really fun about the book is Chris Taylor, the author, talks a lot and goes a lot into you know interviews and and um, examples of how Star Wars is everywhere. So if you can't already tell, I cannot recommend this book uh, highly enough. It is for everybody, not just Star Wars fans. Any person who loves a good and well told story. A history of how someone comes about, an idea is made and brought to fruition and experienced by millions and millions of people, even billions, read this book. Enjoy it. Thank you, Chris Taylor, for writing it. You did a great job. And I want to say, may the force be with you. If you like this video, please like it. Subscribe to Matham Books. This has been a lot of fun. I love talking Star Wars and I would love to talk Star Wars with you. 
Let's do a collab video. If you're into Star Wars, let's talk more. Maybe we can talk about a pre uh, The Force Awakens um, review and go from there. Thanks again. You guys have a great one. Find your voice and remember, do or do not, there is no try.